Hello, my name is Oshuni Dashgupto. I'm a faculty at Chinta.com and I want to talk to you a little bit more about mathematical Olympiads, why students take them, and what are the right Olympiads to actually participate in. And finally, I also want to discuss what are the opportunities for successful candidates in mathematical Olympiads. What are mathematical Olympiads? They are a set of contests, different having different names in different countries, contests where the problems are non-routine in nature. So one cannot do these problems but just by knowing a bunch of formulas. They have to be creative, they have to apply their ingenuity, and they have to have a ton of experience with this sort of problem solving. The mathematical Olympiads were initially designed to provoke curiosity and interest in the children so that they can once they can become research mathematicians one day they can solve tough and interesting problems creatively and they are just that for example the final goal the greatest mathematical olympiad for every country for anywhere in the world is the international math olympiad and it has only six problems that are to be solved over nine hours so about 100 countries participate in it and each country can send only six students. Now, please be careful. There are other competitions in the name of International Mathematics Olympiad. They are either fake or they are not the same thing. The actual International Math Olympiad, you should be very careful about it. The actual International Math Olympiad is a super, super challenging contest. Check out the link in the description to see what are the different steps of mathematical Olympiads in different countries. So now let's talk a little bit about the career prospects. Why do students take mathematical Olympiads in the first place? See, the first thing is, first and the most important thing is they get to learn a lot of great mathematics. They'll get to think about problems which they wouldn't get a chance to do if they're just solving school problems. So it's an eye-opening, life-changing experience to encounter such problems. But once you do well in mathematical Olympiads, in different mathematical Olympiads, you are now invited with open arms to different universities of the world. For example, in India, if you are qualified for the Indian National Math Olympiad, then you get an automatic invitation to Chennai Mathematical Institutes and uh, Institute and Indian Statistical Institutes interview board. You don't have to take their entrances to do their bachelor's program. And the bachelor's program of ISI and CMI are really coveted. They are very prestigious. So you are not required to take the entrance. You can directly go for the interview. In fact, some of the IITs are also thinking about doing the same thing. Once you are in the third stage, that is the INMO, Indian National Math Olympiad, you are automatically qualified for all of these things. Then comes the American universities and the British universities. Several American universities and British universities, for example, UT Austin, uh, UCLA, they have full scholarships for students who do well in the national level math olympiads in any country, including India. Some of these universities have a very competitive admission process. I can tell you about one student, uh, Aryan Kalia, who did really well in AMC, American Math Competition, and also did a research project at Chinta, and then went on to Harvard this year. Of course, he had other things going on. There is There are numerous examples like this, students who have done really well in mathematical olympiads and they get a competitive edge over other candidates when they're applying to these ivy league or uh, similar universities across the world so these are the reasons why students actually take mathematical olympiads in the first place finally let me tell you a little bit about how to prepare for mathematical olympiads nothing is better than a set of good books so I have given a link where you can find a very beautiful set of books for uh, useful for math olympiads. There are topics like number theory, combinatorics, geometry, and advanced topics in algebra like inequalities, functional equation, and so on. 
which are extremely important for this sort of contests. They are also very fun to learn. So please go to the link in the description and find out more about them. Uh, apart from great books, another thing that really helps is an excellent peer group. So some other kids and teachers who are equally excited about mathematics as you are. So uh, try to find something like that. We believe that at Chinta we have a, a peer group like that. Our program has some really good kids and teachers as well. So you can check that out as well. Um, see, the point is this, that all of this is done because we are in love with mathematics. And we like to think about problems in mathematics for hours and hours and hours. That's kind of our turn on thing that that makes us happy. So instead of focusing too much on the end result that is qualifying in a certain contest, if you focus on the problems and the joy of it, you, you would be a, in a much better position to succeed. So keep on doing good mathematics and I will see you next time with some other problem and discussion. Okay. Take care. Bye.